what's good y'all it is your boy be nice or else here and this is our very first episode of our creator conversations and if you look to my right there is a handsome young devil sitting right next to me you know what i'm saying he is i'm gonna go ahead and say it right now because i just seen it on some of his merch that we're gonna be talking about today he's a drip god y'all he is someone as far as style is concerned someone i definitely look forward to seeing his different fashion his different travels and stuff we have last black spartan joining us today lbs how are you feeling today sir and how does it feel to be the very first uh live creative conversations i guess you know it feels good to be a pioneer of you know something that I think is going to be really great, like going forward, like I'm honored to be the first of many dope just blurs on this, uh, on this show. Like I'm, I'm actually very excited. Awesome. Awesome. I, I appreciate your, your time. I know your life is a little busy right now. Is there any specific reason why your life may be a little busy right now? A little is an understatement. I'll, I'll definitely tell you that. <laughs> I mean, between like, you know, a major project going on in my full-time job and being a content creator, I'm also getting married in about 37 days. Hey, let's um, go. Probably less than a month when y'all see this, uh, this video. So, yeah. um, you know, look out for that registry link. If you want to help out a little bit, you know, might throw a coffee page up there if you want to, you know, give a little financial gift. Y'all relieve some of this financial stress. Yep. Y'all know we don't do shameless plugs. We only do plugs here. So all of those links will be provided <laughs> in whatever social media platform you are viewing this on. So definitely make sure you show some love to our first live creator conversation. So we have LBS here for a bunch of different reasons. One, we want to make sure we wish him happy birthday. It's always his birthday. <laughs> It's always, always gonna be his birthday, no matter what. But um, the the main reason that we're here today is he recently launched um a highly touted uh clothing line um and it is a brand that i believe that is important that everybody knows about because it carries a meaning talk to us about this clothing line uh lbs uh, make sure you tell us the name um why you started the brand and kind of what you're looking to get from and putting it out uh, so the name of the brand is assembled uniquely it branched from this idea of being built different but when i really thought about it i'm like everyone's kind of built different by default mm -hmm. but we choose how we we're assembled and we can assemble ourselves in any unique way that we want and assembling outfits is part of that uniqueness that a lot of us bring to the table so i i've thought about doing merch for a long long time but i wanted i wanted it to be different because i mean like most streamers have merged most you know have like use the same type of companies do it the same way i wanted mine to be more like a real clothing line with like hey, okay. spring and fall releases like limited releases special occasion items and stuff like that that are only available for a limited time um so that's kind of how i plan to run things you know i eventually plan to incorporate artists and stuff like get original works in there that's you cool. know help out artists to help them get paid as well including my emote artists like these you know every image you see is my emote artist. She goes by Nurse Shinderu. She made my emotes last year, but recently we came to an agreement that I would give her a little bit extra to use them in e-commerce. So, you know, got her paid again in getting her Let's work out go. there once more. She's listed on the website. So you want to, you know, learn more about what she does. Her Instagram is up there. Big ups. Um, so, I, you know, eventually I also want to collaborate with other people who have merch and kind of like help them take theirs to the next level and just, you know, make it something very unique that they can share with their community as well. Still figuring a lot of it out, but so far so good with our first release that came out in June. Um, and the fall line is coming a lot sooner than y'all think. Hey, let's go, man. Big, our big, big ups. One, two, um, uh, creator to creator collaboration. Big ups to another black entrepreneur in the entrepreneurial space. Um, as we recently started Blazer Night Media in February, and Sparty starting his clothing line and his LLC right after that. So um, I think year 2020. I was inspired by you, yeah. honestly. I was just like, hey, let's go, like, man. Maybe I should do something like that. So, you know, I was talking to um, Keisha, my fiance, about it. And, you know, she's been my creative director the whole way through this whole content creative That'd journey. W fiance. So, um, a lot of big decisions don't go out the door without her, you know, thought process on it first. Because, you know, she's she's no slouch when it comes to creativity either. She tries to not give herself a lot of credit for that. But I will say that she can be just as creative as the, the rest of us. Absolutely. She really puts her mind to it. 
Absolutely. And it, I see glimmers from her in the background. I know she really, she probably feels like she's a background player in your story, but she literally is like y'all are Mario and Luigi in a sense that like you literally, <laughs> like when you left her to like, when you did that 24 hour stream, I feel like the chat like lit up. You came back like, what is happening? I was like, cause, she, <laughs> cause she's a player one trying to play a player two. Like she, she tries to pretend, but like, I, I say this every time I see you, I'm like, W fiance, W wife. Oh yeah, like she she's definitely, you know, when you were younger and you would hand the controller off, like, you know, it's it's you share the player one role. That's just mm -hmm. what I believe marriage will it should be. Like, you know, even though this is is my name on everything, like she has just as much as an important role to play in it as as I do. Man, that's a beautiful that's a beautiful thing. Um, we we we're here to talk about the clothing line, talk about his creative journey. But I I I told him, you know, if he felt comfortable, I want to make sure that we gave her some flowers because she has been a part of this process and like seeing y'all relationship in 4K, like it gives me hope. Like even somebody who's older who's been divorced, was like man, like hey, look, there's somebody out there who can be, you know, what I'm saying my player one part B you know in this journey called life mm -hmm. and also too as black creators i think it's important that we celebrate black love um a lot of times right now the content that's winning right now is like the hate content the content about relationships tearing us apart the but drama, the drama just, you know, the feuds and, yeah you know and we don't and we don't necessarily have to play into that to win we can win through love so that's something i want to make sure we're playing play, painting for blurs unite media and also with the creators that we're bringing in so let's talk about uh the rollout for the clothing line really quickly so i was a part of that process part of the the stream and like making sure sharing as many posts as we can to get that out talk to us about mm -hmm. uh, the process leading up to you debuting the clothing line the reception you believe the clothing line received and how that that traction has kind of led into right now where you literally just had i believe it was kenny what king games you know doing a, a tribute post uh, at dreamcon is recently so let's let's hop into that yeah um, I remember when I started the whole process and really kind of had my ideas together, when I thought of the release plan, I mm -hmm. said, I want the people to be a part of it. Like, I want, like, the people who buy the clothes, because I know the people who buy them right now are going to be the people closest to me. Um, I want them to be very much involved. So, you know, I initially sent ideas out to, like, once, you know, once I got past the Keisha stage and we went to the beta stage, which was, you know, sharing a few of the designs with very few people maybe like four people i can count on one hand yeah. um you know giving them early access was like the first step and then you know um having dates set for like every step of the process like you know this this day i'm gonna share it with them this day i'm gonna tease it or you know like do the photo shoot with my boy uh shout out to spencer charles that's one of my groomsmen one of my best friends from like over 10 years at this point from college he did the photo shoot that you guys saw at the initial release um anytime i need anything creative done i contact him or my other boy uh mr shit for for photography because they've been doing it for a long time and their work is always top notch and even though they hate to accept payment from me i have forced it down their paypal like, as, as, as it should. Tip, yeah like you know just because we've been friends for over, for over a decade doesn't mean i'm not going to pay you for good work so I wish I could give them more, honestly, because, you know, a lot of this just starts with them, um, so, you know, giving them early access, sending multiple text messages and discord and IG messages to people after the teases. Um, and then, you know, giving it like a week of a buffer before actually releasing it as well as getting like the stream involved. So, mm -hmm. you know, incorporate stuff like um, captain.tv and the whole stream racers thing to give people a chance to win early access was also a cool moment um because even my mods like had to do that to get early access so it's that was they won a couple of races yeah and like some of them have been some of my biggest supporters like buying multiple items like wearing them all the time like shout out to war eric who's probably bought the most him and alv have bought the most items and war eric definitely posted the most yeah so, kage was styling um, in DreamCon as well too yeah like yeah. kage and bumpers and like oh and bumper, and I and for like, bumpers and yo you you know what yeah. you actually was represented very well at DreamCon for somebody who wasn't there <laughs> yeah you know big ups ken got game day zero had my stuff on did a little yeah. shoot outside the convention it took some of the dopest pictures we put on the instagram like and anyone who sends me a picture if i even see a picture I, 
I will, you know, be like, can I put this on the gram? Like, I want you to be part of this brand and, you know, be some of the pioneers of the brand as well. So if you bought a shirt or if you bought anything like watching this video, send me a picture. You could DM it to me. You could post it yourself, send it to me on Instagram, whatever. I will, if you have, if I have your permission, I'm going to throw it up there. Like you're just as assembled uniquely as anyone else. So Love to see it. very much looking forward to the fall line and stuff like that. Cause I, I got a lot of plans for the fall and the winter, I should say. Winter um, is yeah, coming. My rollout plan was, was very much like kind of the keystone of what I'm going to try to do going forward. And you know, fourth wall is what I use. Shout out to them. Cause you can email them about anything. If there's an item you don't see, you can either email them about that. I haven't gotten that deep into the weeds with it yet, but like they listen to advice. They take advice on like, you know, how to change up the set and like make things as creative as possible. They're a lot smaller than, you know, Shopify and stuff like that, but they're doing their thing and being able to make stuff on demand is not as easy as it sounds. It works so well, but they have to keep these connections with people and mm -hmm. you got to, you know, just give them time and a little bit of slack when it comes to shipping. Like that's, that's the only thing I will say, but they, they, they do their thing. Absolutely, man. And once again, big, big congratulations for seeing a niche and then launching it and then launching it your own way um, with something that has meaning. I really feel like uniqueness in the creator space is needed in a sense that you know we can all create the same things but do it your own way and not just copy somebody and rip it off um you know you were inspired by me to start the business i'm inspired by you to redo our you know our merch line i've since been unhappy with it um and the way that we've been doing it and i've and honestly like you know seeing how you did it and how you took your time and went a certain way i've been able to talk to some people and do some things too and so you know you talked about even helping some people and there's that that's that's the part of the journey that excites me the most that a lot of people don't like the the the, the process where we get to help each other grow and so mm -hmm. you know i get to help you and by promoting a wonderful brand um and letting everybody know that this is a creator and last black spartan that they should you know be looking out for and you get to help me potentially in you know reorchestrating my our clothing brand and that's how we you know blurs unite and that's the the meaning and the name of the you know the 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 media team so i appreciate mm -hmm. your your time today before we wrap everything up Go ahead and make sure you give everybody all your socials. You guys do not be upset. I'm going to make sure all his socials, all the links are right here. So even though he's going to be talking, we'll make them accessible for you. Go ahead, LBS. I would say, obviously, you know, twitch.com slash last black Spartan. That's the main place you can find me live. Um, mm -hmm. I've been trying to grow the YouTube following by posting shorts. Been rebuilding the TikTok since the band. Um, you left me alone. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to talk about that, but we don't need to. We don't need to give that any more spotlight than it needs. But if y'all are looking for me on TikTok, it's Last Black Spartan 2. Twitter, obviously, is Last BLK Spartan because my name's too damn long for most places. <laughs> um, but I'm on Twitter. I live on Twitter, breathe on Twitter, even though they're trying to rename it. It's still the bird app to me. Always yes, will be. Will be. And then, you know, obviously, Instagram. We have a Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, you can post pictures there in, in your merch if you have it. Um, and of course, like the Discord will be some of the first people to know and see a preview of the fall line, which is coming within the next month or so. Um, I might even send Blurs Unite a few pictures after this just so that they can maybe tease it at the end of the video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and then obviously, assembled uniquely on Instagram and um, the website will be in, in the bio. It's a, it's a fourth wall link for now, but assembled uniquely, you'll be able to find it um, from the Instagram. Big Bay, Big Bay. Once again, big round of applause. This is Last Black Spartan. I am your boy, Be Nice or Else, CEO and owner of Blurs Unite Media. If you enjoyed today, make sure you like, share, and comment, and follow us on YouTube because we're on our way to becoming a partner, too. Much love, y'all. Peace. Thanks for having me. Um, by the way, it's been an honor to be the first guest on this amazing program. Oh, so. hey, listen, we appreciate you. Like I said, I had you tabbed up for this for a while, and I'm just glad your schedule or my schedule worked out so we can get this recording. And uh, yeah, this is also going to start the journey too, where I'm going to be dropping a YouTube video every day for the every week for the next 10 years because. 
YouTube is where the is where the premium is at. And uh, just in case, you know, creators, you don't know, we're also going to be talking about diversifying your content here. Be on the lookout for all types of videos coming from Blair's United Media. Once again, be nice, Rilts. Last Black Spartan, and we out of here.